This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash, Yahweh, be the name of the Father, who the world immediately calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world immediately calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, meaning He delivers, He saves, Bahashem in the name, Rakah Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace, salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and risking their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam, listen and listen and learn, and sincerity and truth and the silence, Shalom. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwathiam meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. All right, we'll get right into it. And you see this uh, article that came out on News Punch. Or, or the People's Voice TV it says uh, Trudeau's online censorship bill becomes law. Independent media now outlawed in Canada. Right, this bill came to pass, but still got processes it's got to go through. But the main thing I wanted to get from from this was uh, and this is a bill. It's called Bill C11. Right, this is a bill which has been going back and forth for quite some time. Within uh within uh, uh uh the House of Parliament, right? Two votes for and sixteen against, and one in abstention, right? Amongst the amongst uh, uh the House of Parliament, but this bill. Right, and mainstream news is uh, touched on it. Bill C-11, an act to enact the Consumer Privacy Protection Act. A new streaming bill is close to becoming law in Canada. What to know about the online streaming act? Right, so listen. Controversial bill to regulate online streaming becomes law, right? It's all about regulation. It's all about control. Right? But ultimately, it's going to go into the, the, the famine of the word, man, right? Where you can't upload, you can't speak, you can't, if it's deemed uh, uh, hate speech or, or, or going against the grain, right? Like on YouTube, we, we, man, them catch strikes, right? So they might come, they might come to you, they might come for you. They, who knows what they're going to put in the law? This new law, this C11 law, who knows what they're going to put in it, right? But it, uh, what, 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 what it all boils down to is trying to stop this truth from going out. These elites, Amos 8 verse 11, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Power, right? The days are coming, that I will send a famine in the land, a famine. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Right, it's not a famine of, of sustenance, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Right, hearing the words. The time's going to come where you're not going to be able to scroll, swipe, follow, subscribe to hear the words of Yahweh Shimei Shai, because His truth has become a thorn in the side of these elites. Isaiah 13. It's a couple of scriptures, you know. Isaiah 13, verse 2. And it reads, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Right? The banner is these scriptures. Exalt the voice unto them. Exalt the voice unto them. Unto these elites. Right? Shake the hand. 
that they may go into the gates of the nobles right so this word is reaching the ears of the nobles right Esau's elites right there's a scripture in uh, uh, there's a scripture in uh, Job I think it's 15 Job 15 verse 21 a dreadful sound is in his ears a dreadful sound right this this truth coming out is a dreadful sound to these heathen to Amalek to Esau Edom in prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him right in prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him. ultimately leading to those missiles right when he's at the height of his of, of his excellency he will be destroyed by Yahweh Shai and the holy angels and the missiles the thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles right so this 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 diabolical man man doesn't want to hear this truth so he's going to try he's going to he's going to try and stifle it scripture says he's going to stay he, he's going to lock it off scripture says the lord is going to pull his men off the streets Amos 8 verse 12 and they shall wander from sea to sea right two-thirds of our people and from the north even to the east right wandering looking for this truth they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord yahweh and shall not find it right where's those brothers at where's the cap where's the street corners that we used to see those brothers teaching at but they ain't gonna find it verse 13 in that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst right they're gonna be fainting for thirst thirst of what this word right you're looking at that word faint let's get it real quick for edification's sake in the Hebrew faint for thirst right for the scriptures right but by then it's too late faint for thirst right by then it's too late the Lord is gonna be like listen release the four winds shall faint Strong's H fifty nine sixty eight. A laugh, a laugh. To veil or cover, figuratively to be languid, faint, overlaid. Let's look at this word languid. To languish, to faint. All right, let's look at this word languid. Online etymology. All right, it's gonna get bets it's gonna get so bad out here. And Jake's gonna want answers and they ain't gonna have it. They ain't gonna get it. It's gonna be too late. Languid from French sixteenth century. Faint, listless, and sluggish from weakness, fatigue. Or want of energy, right? They're going to want this living water. It's going to be too late. Right? It's going to be through in that day. Let's get a... Uh, second Ezra 5. Second Ezra 5 verse 9. Alright, listen. This devil's about to show his horns, man. Right, he's about to come down having great wrath. Right? This devil wants to push his MOTB. He wants to bring in the Fed now. Bring in a CBDC. Introduce the M to the O to the T to the B. The CHIP. The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Mandate it. Starve out Jake. Slaughter Jake. 
FEMA camps, internment camps. This is what this devil is going. This is what this devil is going to do. Right, and when when all hell breaks loose, Isaiah. Right, people are going to bug out. They're going to know what to do. Isaiah thirty-three verse six. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right? The wisdom and knowledge is what's going to make you stable in that day. While everyone's bugging out. Looking for answers. Where's those men that were on the highways and hedges? Can I log on? Can I get a video? Can I get a swipe? A like, a follow? All that's going to be done away with. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right? And who fears the Lord? The elect. Second Ezra 5 verse 9. And it reads, And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself. Right? All friends shall destroy one another. The time of Jacob's trouble. And then shall wit hide itself. Wit. Wit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Understanding this, this truth is going to be hidden. The wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. Right, the Lord is going to hide his elect men. The elect are the ones with the understanding. Right, Lord willing, we have that number. Right, it's going to be Savage Town out here. Right? The story going to be cutting through Jake. Famine going to be cutting through Jake. Ravishing of women going to be cutting through Jake. FEMA camps going to be cutting through Jake. Teeth of wild beasts going to be cut, mowing through Jake. Right? Verse 10. And shall be sought of many. Right? People are going to be seeking out understanding. And yet not be found. They go, listen. They threw out there. No covering. Then shall unrighteousness. Right. And incontinency. Be multiplied upon the earth. Right. Unrighteousness. And incontinency. If I'm not mistaken. Incontinency means uh, to defecate. Let me just double check. Incontinency. Incontinence. Right. Wanting self. Wanting self. Restraint. Immoderate. Intemperate. Not holding back. Right, unable to hold back. Unable to control back bowels or bladder. Right, in a medical sense. Right. So incontinency and unrighteousness shall multiply upon the earth. Right, it's going to be savage down out here, man. Right. Verse 11. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? Right, people are going to be like, yo. Are the are there elect, are the men of the Lord here? Is righteousness is righteousness in this in this block, this city, this town, this 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 area? Right? Is righteousness is righteousness here? Right? Is the Lord is the Lord here with his men? And it shall say, No, right? The Lord gonna listen, the Lord gonna crank up the violence, the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? A time like no other. Right? And he's going to hide his men. Right? Well, listen, man. The, the, the family of the word, it, it's on its way, man. Online censorship, it's on its way. Stay prayed up. With that, stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Shout out to the hopeful elect.